time up to your heroes in barrels of wine. Mr. Watson! Mr. Watson! So you are in, Mr. Watson. I must have dozed off. I, uh, I was just doing my pools, and the uh, next thing I knew, he was knocking on the door. I'll never get me far away that way, will I? Hey, look, Mr. Watson. Very nice I've to see to you, Mrs. Look, Scott. I want to you see you. You don't drop in often enough. It's a real treat to see you. I haven't time for going. What about a nice cup of tea now? I'll go in the kitchen and put the kettle on. Uh, Mr. Watson. Come on. About the rent. I'm sorry I can't offer you a nice piece of fruit cake, but you know what it is. A man living on his own. I haven't had time to do the shopping. Where's this now you said your wife had gone to? I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. You didn't ask me. Now you know that's not true, Mr. No, Watson. You said, where's Mrs. Watson? And I said, she's gone away. And you said, uh, gone to stay with her sister, I suppose. And before I could answer you, the milkman nearly banged the door in and you was off. Oh, so she's gone to stay with her sister, is I she? I didn't say so. And where is she? Hospital. Hospital? What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing serious, bless your heart, Mrs. Sparrow. Oh, I didn't even know she was sick. No, it's not too bad. She's in good hands. I must go and visit her. Aren't you good? But she can't see visitors. What's the matter with her? She'll tell you herself, no doubt, when she comes back. And when will that be? Who knows? She's been gone a month now. Is it really as long as that? Yes, it is. Four weeks. That's how much rent you owe me, Mr. Watson. Rent? Of course. I clean forgot about it. I didn't. I'm going away on business tomorrow morning, and I want that four weeks' rent before I go. You shall have it then. Pardon me asking, but where are you oh. going to get it? You got the sack from your job, didn't you? Oh, I gave you that idea. You're not working. You've been down here day in and day out for the past month since your wife went away. What on earth have you been doing with yourself? Decorating. Decorating? Yeah, I want the place to look nice for my Sarah when she comes back. I don't see any decorating. Well, Where's I've probably decorating? started yet. I've just been washing down a few ceilings. Oh, I don't see any improvements. Oh, well, I haven't really had time to get down. Uh, don't go in there. Why not? Uh, not in the bedroom. It's a bit untidy. I want to see what you're doing to my bedroom. Oh, you'll like it. You're wasting your time, Mr. Watson. I'm selling the house, and you and your wife will have to find accommodation elsewhere. You're selling the house? Mm -hmm. Chipped out of that happening. The people who are buying it want to live down here. The basement? No respect for other people's property at all. They're going to rent out the rooms upstairs, same as I've been doing. I've told my other boarders I'm going, and they've all paid me up to date. So you'll have to pay up tonight, Mr. Watson. Oh, and uh, by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Williams are calling here tomorrow morning, and the, they'll want to look round if it won't inconvenience you. You say you've sold this house and not a word to me? I just told you. You say you've sold it? No, I didn't. I said they wanted to buy. You said they was moving in? Yes, so they are. That's so they bought the house? No, they haven't. But, but you I said... said they wanted to buy, but I've got to decorate it first. And you kicked me and Sarah out into the street? No, 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 Mr. Watson. They want the beach. Laying you up, they are, getting you to decorate this house, and, and they haven't paid you nothing? Hey, they're just jumping to pay, but I, I think I can get a few hundred pounds more for it if I spend, say, 90 on decorating. So you haven't, uh, you haven't signed no contract yet? When I want to, not before. You've got a head for business, Mrs. Sparrow. You're right there, Mr. Watson. That's why I want my four weeks' rent. You shall have it tonight. Uh, thank you. Uh, come back later. Uh, what time? Say about uh, ten o'clock. I'll be back. And I'll be ready for you. I'm telling you, it's getting out to push even good stuff. Say, I put it to them. Yeah, I think I'll go into something else. Told you before, get out in the country. They write speed and they bite. This is what you call the country. I haven't got anything to handle at the moment. 
What about watches? What about them? They go good if you got Swiss on them. Hey, look at that. You tilted it. No, I didn't. You were standing there. I wasn't watching. I was talking to you. Five million four hundred thousand is the best I've ever done. Come on, pay up. Not going to waste any more time in here. What about a return match? Waste of time. You know when you're out, class. I hear you buy old gold and stuff. I don't know about stuff, I uh, buy antiques. I call what I've got, that. Look, I don't want no stuff that's been knocked. I run a straight business. Belong to my wife. Belong? She dead? No. Still belongs to her, then? It's all right. She knows I'm selling it. All right, leave your dress. I'll call round. Why? I've got the stuff on me. I'd like to see your wife. She's sick at home. Then I'll come and see her. What? In bed? Oh. Uh, come on, she knows I'm selling her. Yeah, how do I know she knows? Well, what's the matter with buying from me? She's my wife. How do I know the stuff ain't been knocked? Now, do I look that tight? What's the big hurry, then? Well, I, um, I don't mind telling you. I, I'm changing my employment at the moment. Why? Well, I, I didn't see eye to eye with the management. Go on. Well, that's it. I, um, I'm out of a job and there's four weeks rent owing. How much is that? Twelve quid, but I need a bit more for sundry commitments. Say, uh, twenty-five. Mm. Come in here. Oh. Oh. Your wife's got good taste. Her aunt left her them things and more besides. She were worth quite a bit with her aunt. Yeah. Well, you look like you're on the level, but I'm warning you, if I get lumbered with this stuff, your wife won't know you when I finish with you. Twenty quid the lot, OK? Oh, one Take it or leave it. If I didn't need the money... What's your name? Fred Watson. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it. Anyway, um, uh, it's all right, we're just waiting for the photos to come out. Be out in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you the law? What do you mean? You've been having me on and them's your witnesses. You've got it all wrong. I'm not taking any chances on you. Come on. Well, Harry, you come in. Uh, I've just done a business deal with this gentleman. He sold me three articles. Gold ladies watch, Swiss, 18 carat. Gold brooch inset with pearl, 18 carat. Gold ring, 18 carat, inset with topaz. He says they're the property of his wife and he has her full permission to sell them. Now, you're my witness that I bought the stuff in good faith, OK? It's all right, Bert. Sign your name and address here, if you don't mind. Uh, what you waiting for? <clears throat> Nothing. <clears throat> Thanks very much, Mr. Watson. Good day. Good day, thank you. Thanks. How much you give him? Twenty nicker. Blimey, he took it. Yeah, that's why I was worried. He's one born every minute. Is he really that soft, though? Well, what do you mean? I mean, is he a mug or just crafty? Well, let's have a look at that gear. Is it really eighteen cows? Oh yes, it's good stuff. And he gave it to you for twenty quid. So where's the crafty come in? I know, but was it his in the first place? I don't want to get landed with another receiving charge. What are you worried about? You're covered. You got me as your witness, ain't you? That should be worth something, you know. Oh. Dream on. Dream on the time. About two years ago. Ten buckets of... What on earth do you think you're doing? Hello, Mrs. Ash. Who told you to paper over that cupboard? Are you daft? You have to pull it all off again. The Williams don't want to look inside when they come to you tomorrow morning. Will they? I think they're going to hang their clothes. Not in there. Why not? Damp. Damp? My house damp? Never heard the like of that. Ridiculous. Damp. Damp. Where's the damp? Come on, show it to me. Uh, it must have dried up a bit. Dried up? It was never wet. Are you thinking of boarding this one up too? Yes, I am uh, thinking. Then don't. You're wasting your time and your money. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Everything of a good cupboard. Why, I never heard the like. They're a steady point to a house good cupboards are. What about a drink, Mrs. Hatch? Just can't believe the evidence of my own two eyes. Well, I'll join him in a glass of whiskey. That paper will all have to come down. I got in a bottle specially for you. What are you trying to say? A bottle of Irish whiskey, Mrs. Ass. What the nerd are you talking about? A drink, Mrs. Ass. Drink? I've just had one in the pub. I know you have. What about another? Well, of course, if you insist, Mr. Watson. Well, uh, just a Come small on. one now. I don't understand what possessed you. Well, I'm only a man. I made a mistake, but I'm only human, aren't I? Well, thank you, Mr. Watson. thinking I might forget about the rent, are you? Of course not. Here it is. Well, I must say I am surprised. Told you I would, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did, Mr. Watson. Uh, that isn't necessary. Yes, it is. Now, I wasn't forget the rent book. I'll bring it up to date. All you have to do is sign your name four times, once for each week. In the margin. Yes, yes, I know. Last time I'll sign this book, I expect. I'm afraid it is. You know something, I'll treasure this book, Mrs. Farrow. Oh, that's enough of your blarney now, Mr. Watson. <laughs> How long do you think you'll be away? Uh, easy now, easy, easy, easy. See, this is the last drink we're having together. I'm sparing no expense. I mustn't have too much, you know. I've got to be up early in the morning to catch my train. Anybody know where to find you? Oh, who cares where I am? Your friends, Mrs. Ash. Friends? What friends? Me, for one. I must say you are being friendly. I shall miss you, Mrs. Asset. So will your other boarders upstairs. That crowd, they only think of themselves. I never see them only when I collect the rents. Who's going to collect the rents now, then? The Williams, the new owners. Oh, yes, of course. When they've paid my price. Are you going to your relations for a holiday? Relations? My sister in Australia. Is she your only relation? Yes, if I could call her one. She's a bit wrapped up in herself, is oh, she? Oh, she's all that, all that sort. Do you mean to say you don't even write to each other? But I want to write to her for what has she ever done for me? So you're all alone in the world. Dear, dear, dear. Since my husband had that accident, yes. He shouldn't have been working up there on the roof at his age. It was too high. To learn to bear these things. Still, it can't be too hard to bear, can it? He left you all his money, and this house must bring you in a pretty penny. Could you keep a secret, Mr. Watson? Yes. Going to Brighton tomorrow. Oh. Have my eye on property there. Uh-huh. Seaside property. Much more money in it. You can make five times as much in furnished rooms, especially in the summer season. Yes, I dare say. You've not told no one. Not a soul, and don't you? Not a soul. What do you do and keep filling up my glass? Giving you a bit of a send-off. <laughs> this is definitely the last one now. Oh, get on with you. After all the liquor you've swilled away in your life, another gallon or two won't hurt. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You've had a drop too much, haven't you? I don't like this or something. I don't like this at all. What would your wife say? What would your Sarah say? If I know anything about her, she isn't in a position this minute to say anything. Careful what you say about my Sarah. Where is she? I'm after you point blank. What's the name of the hospital? I think I believe that story. Careful what you say. I think I don't know all about your Sarah. I've always tried to keep a respectable house. You shouldn't have said that about my Sarah. Want to go now? Was that you said about my no, Sarah? No, no, I, I didn't say anything about her, Mr. Watson. Interfering in other people's business. No, people who don't mind no, their own business no, has got themselves into no, trouble. No, no, I'm, I'm going to my room. No, you ain't. You're going to my room. You've said too much. You always do, you drunken old fool. Yak, 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 saying things about my Sarah. Poisoning my mind against her. What happened to Sarah is your fault, do you hear me? Your fault. No, no, no. What your do you mean? Fault. What do you mean? And you're going to pay for it. Here, have one last drink. Oh. And listen to me, Mrs. S. Your husband, tragic, wasn't it? Fell off the roof. Working on the flat part at the time, too. The flat part. Come over dizzy, it was said. <laughs> yes. That's right. <laughs>
I'm Mrs. Williams. May I? Uh, oh. Mrs. Ah. Come you in. hope I'm not disturbing you? No, not at all. Why should you be now? So this is the basement yeah, plan. I can't mention it, so it is. Oh, dear. Oh, dear is right. What I've been saying for long enough. It does need a lot of work done on it, doesn't it? It does that. Mrs. Sparrow has, of course, spoken to you about me. I can't say she has. Oh, but I did mention to her that I wanted a woman in to do the cleaning. That'll be you, no doubt. <laughs> Certainly not. <laughs> We're buying this property. Ah, you? <laughs> but Mrs. Sparrow told you, surely. What's this? If you read it, you'll see. I've got a 12 months option to purchase this house. A 12 months option? She's been on to me for long enough to take it over. <laughs> but this can't be true. We practically settled everything two days ago. Well, I settled it yesterday. Oh, but she can't do this. Where is she? I want to word with her. Gone to the seaside. When will she be back? Didn't say. Oh, this is quite outrageous. Will you give me her address? Didn't leave it with me. Oh, but surely somebody knows. You could try some of the other lodgers upstairs. They may know. Her very last words to me were that she was going away for a few days and she'd show me over the house before she left. When did she depart? Depart? Last night. I see. Oh, I think I'll let my husband deal with this. And you may as well tell Mrs. Sparrow that when she does return, we'll have a few words to say to her. Good morning. When did she depart? Mr. Jones, I'm here. Come in. Oh, I thought you were still in bed. Come into the room. Oh, look, I've got to oh, get to work. I oh, know you are. Hey, uh, you sure this is all right? What do you mean? Well, I haven't heard from Mrs. Sparrow. I'll tell you, Mrs. Sparrow told me to collect the rents. Yeah, well, uh, when's she coming back? How would I know? Well, didn't she say? If she had, I'd be able to tell you, wouldn't I? Well, if she'd been gone a week, she might have dropped us a card. Come in, Millie. Don't bother to knock. Come on, come into the room. You'll be able to hear better in here. Okay, here's Miss Fawcett's rent, too. You better sign the books. You're two weeks behind, Mr. Jones. That's not your business. Oh, well, you'll pay up, no doubt, as soon as you can. You've got to get up, will you? I'll be late for work. Miss Fawcett's bang up to date, I see. Good for her. You want to mind your own business. People do take on so, don't they? You can't say a word to them before they fly into a flaming temper. Hey, it's nice of you to visit, Millie, but Sarah's not at home, I'm afraid. Where is she? In hospital. You told me that when I came to town five weeks ago. Yes, I know I did. Well, you said it was nothing serious. Well, it must be if she's been in hospital for five weeks. All right, it turned out to be serious in the end. Where is she? What hospital? You wouldn't know it. I can find it. Said she didn't want to see anybody. Not even her own sister. Especially you, I should reckon. Are you going to tell me what hospital she's in? Why, do you want to nag her silly? Do you want to poison her mind against me? She's my sister, and if she's ill, I ought to go to her. I don't wonder she's ill, being married to a no-good loafer like you. Well, where is she? No, you're not going to see her. Nor is anybody else. Never again. What do you mean? You heard. What do you mean, no one's ever going to see her again? That uh, was uh, a figure of speech, meaning mind your own ruddy business. Are you going to tell me where my sister is? No, I'm not. Very well. I shall go to the police. Are you? And what are you going to tell them? You'll find out. Go on, tell me. What are you going to tell them? I shall tell them that I think you've done away with her. Oh, you would. You would, would you? Unless you tell me. Now, wait. Don't, don't you come near me. I'll scream. I'm not having my Sarah's nip linked up with the police. Uh, the police will soon make you talk. Come back here. Murderer! I can't people mind their own business. Look, Constable, I want you to make an arrest. Who, me? Yes. You're a policeman, aren't you? Oh, yes. Well, I want you to arrest my brother-in-law. He lives in there. Well, what's he done? He's murdered my sister. Oh, now, what makes you think well, she's missing. If he's got nothing to hide, why doesn't he tell me where she is? Well, maybe he's got a perfectly good reason oh, for not... Oh, he's got a good reason, all right. He stabbed her to death and disposed of the body. Hey? Well, now, that's a very serious accusation, madam. I know it is. That's why I'm telling you. Well, you're going to do something about it, aren't you? Well, I'd have to have a lot more to go on in a How case like that. How do you like get that? more to go on unless you go to the police? What are the police for? What are you doing here? Well, I'm looking out for parking offences. Parking offences? Haven't you got anything better to do? What does it matter if someone forgets to put sixpence in a meter when there's a murderer sitting in there with blood on his hands? 
blood. Well, now, that's a very dangerous thing to say, madam. Look, I... How long have you been in uniform? Three weeks. Three weeks. How far to the nearest police station? Oh, it's the second on the left down there. All right. Goodbye. You go back to your motor cars. I'm going to tell the sergeant. But I'll tell you something. You've got a long way to go before they put any straps on your arm. All I can say is that it looks darn queer. Does it? Yes, it does. Mrs. Sparrow gave us her word that she'd sell this property to us. I've shown I... you the letter. Now, look here, I've seen that letter, but I'm not at all sure that it would hold up in a court. Do you think and we I... ought to consult our solicitors, Henry? Yes. Yes, perhaps that would be the solution. Got anything we'll go in writing? Mrs. Sparrow gave us her verbal agreement. Verbal agreement? We... What's that? Come along, Mildred. What's a verbal agreement? And what's a verbal agreement? You don't half meet them. Just because they talk with marbles in their mouth, they think they know everything. Hey! You think you know everything? What's going to win the 3.30? We ought to be able to pick a winner. You look like a couple of celebrates. Just doesn't make sense. I mean, why, why, why should she give that, that idiot a 12 months option on the property when we're prepared to pay her cash? Is there anything we can do? No, nothing at all. Oh, I hate to think that that dreadful man has beaten us. Yes, well, might as well face up to it, he has. Uh, uh, pity. Could have made something out of that, too. Yes. Genuine Neo-Georgian and falling to pieces. It's a shame. Mm. Oh, well, yes. oh, excuse me. You don't live here, do you? No, we don't. Were you looking for someone? Mrs. Sparrow. But she's gone away. Or so we've been given to understand. We were going to buy this house from her, but she's disappeared. Disappeared? Mrs. Sparrow, too. Excuse me, sir. I'm a police officer. Could I have a word with you? A police officer? Yes. Over, of course, yes. Mrs. Sparrow, too. Fred Watson? Yes, that's right. I'm Detective Sergeant Roberts. Don't say I didn't warn you. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions, Miss Watson? Well, that uh, depends what they are, doesn't it? I met a Mr. and Mrs. Williams outside. They're anxious to know the whereabouts of Mrs. Sparrow. Yes, I know they are. Can you throw any light on this? No. Strange, you know, because uh, apparently Mrs. Williams had an appointment with Mrs. Sparrow to sell this house. She changed her mind. Yes, now instead of taking a good price cash down, she gave you a year's option to purchase or not as you wished. I've got the letter. May I see it? Uh, well, <laughs> no reason why I should show it to you. Still, I suppose no harm. Do you know Mrs. Sparrow's handwriting? Compare it with the red book. Surfaced, all right. Yes, it looks like it. Well, why should she let you have the house? You haven't got any money. Ask Never her. will have. Ask her. <laughs> Mrs. Sparrow knows that. She wouldn't let you have it. Go on, you've got the answer. Ask her. Seems a bit odd that she didn't say where she was going. She always was a bit odd. Was? I mean, was until I murdered her. This isn't anything to joke about, Mr. Watson, is it? Well, you've been listening to that woman's jaw. She sees too many gory films. See. Where is your wife, Mr. Watson? Why, she's not done nothing wrong, has she? Oh, I think you know that isn't the meaning of my question. Listen, I don't have to talk to you. I know my rights. At the moment, I'm merely making a few inquiries. And I can't help noticing that you're not being very helpful. <gasps> Cupboards. He, he's papered them over. Look, there's two big cupboards there. Look, you've got he's no papered right them in. over. You've got no right in here. You've got no right coming into a private person's bedroom. Listen. Is that right? There are cupboards behind here? It's none of your business. Y yes, there are. That one was Sarah's. Then there's another one Why, uh, Listen, tell me, where do you hang your clothes now? I'm buying a wardrobe. Why did you see those cupboards up? Well, that's obvious, isn't it? Well, all right, Miss, all right. He's put them in a... Leave this to me outside. Just sit down there, would you? All right. Why did you seal up the cupboards? 
Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh, come now, you can do better than that. Nice. Dozens of them. Came running out to them cupboards and the cat chasing them about kept me awake all night. I see. Well, in that case, you won't mind if I open them up, will you? Won't I? You'll just try it. Well, we'll just try it, damage. Don't worry. Now, listen, you just leave this to You're me, would you? right coming into a I'm doing my duty. residence and tearing his property down. Is this supposed to be paid? Do you mind getting You're going to free country, country don't you? That's you it. make a mess of them cupboards, and I'm launching a complaint. shot. Mr. Watson. You all right? You... Come on now, sit down. Come on, let me ease that collar for you. You got no right, Carl. Coming in here upset him. I'm only doing my duty. Upsetting me. All right, then. Where's your search warrant? You haven't got one, have you? No, but it won't take me long to get one. So that's it. No search warrant. And what are you charging me with? I'm merely following up a complaint at the moment. So you've got nothing on me? Not yet. So you're not charging me with nothing? Look. Your sister-in-law, she came to me and she told me... She's told you that I've, I've done away with my wife and Mrs. Sparrow, is that right? Mr. Watson, look, when a serious complaint of this nature is lodged with the police... By an hysterical woman who thinks she's got a grudge. All right, Mr. Watson, all right, so you're an innocent man. Well, now, if you're innocent, why do you object to proving it? If you've got nothing to hide? Because I went to a lot of trouble to paper all of them cupboards, that's why. I see, then all you've got to do is to tell us where your wife is and... The whereabouts of Mrs. Sparrow, isn't it? Simple. My wife and Mrs. Sparrow's whereabouts. You want to know where my wife is? Millie, come in here. You want to know where my wife is and Mrs. Sparrow, do you? All right, look in here. Pull it down, pull it down. See anything? Try the other one! Come on! You have my full permission! Rip it down! Come on! Put my property to pieces! Disappointed, aren't you? Well, what was I to think? The worst, same as you always do. My experience, I should have known better. All right, Mr. Watson. We'll make good the damage. I'll see you do. You'll be getting the bill. I'm sorry I've been troubled. You're not going? Yes. No, I'm finished with you yet. Now, let's see. Where else could I have been? Two bodies, man. Now, look, Mr. Take a bit Watson, of it isn't There's necessary. a bit of back garden there. Go and have a look out there. You'll Hello. find two new graves. Listen to me, will you? Come on. I might be as daft as she thinks I am. Have a look. I haven't had time to put the headstones on them. I'm sorry. Are you? Well, I am, really, I am. Well, that's great. Well, if you'd only told me where Sarah was. I still haven't told you. Fred, I said I'm sorry. I can't do any more, so you can tell me now, can't you? No. You can tell me where she is. I can't tell you. But I'll tell you something else. If you come in here upsetting and bothering me again, it's me as goes to the police next time, you understand? I'll have you run in for causing a public nuisance. Ah, that garden hasn't seen a spade in years. Did you look in the stairs cupboard? Yes, yes, I did. Well, that leaves this room and the bedroom. Uh, unless I've been reported carrying two bodies to the embankment one dark night. Oh, no, Mr. Watson, no. No complaint of that nature's come through. What about under the floor, then? It's cement. Did you see that cement mixer in the garden? Now, that will do, Mr. Watson. I want to talk to you in private. Sergeant, I... I think you've done enough. We may good the damage, Mr. Watson. Listen, if I tell you where my wife is, will you give me your word? My sister-in-law won't be told. I think you can take that for granted. Oh, this is a private mental home, isn't it? That's right. Well, there's, there's nothing really wrong with her. She just went in there for a rest. But you see, if, 
If her sister got to know, she'd spread it all around the neighborhood. You can see what a gossip she is. Yes, I understand. Mr. Watson, I, I'm very sorry about all this. Uh, I do wish I'd known about this in the first place. What? It's all right. I, I'm sorry I lost my temper, but... You see, my wife's a very sensitive woman. And her sister's never been anything but a trial to her. I understand. Well, I'd better be on the way, I suppose. If Mrs. Sparrow happens to... Oh, no, it's all right. She'll be back in a day or two, I expect. Well, she's bound to come back for her things. Anyway, we've got to settle the business about the house. Oh, yes, that. Has she left you in charge while she's away? Yes, yeah, she has. Um, she can't bear living here now. Oh, why is that? Since her husband had that accident. Accident? Yes, he fell off the roof. Killed himself. Off a broken up about it, she was. Oh. She's taken to the bottle for herself. Let me give you a hand with this. Sure. Oh. Well, about about her. a year ago now. It was in the papers at the time. Well, since then, she can't stand this place. It gives her the willies. That's why she spends so much time in the pub. Well, she doesn't like living here. But at the same time, she can't bear to sell the house. Sort of uh, sentimental reasons, you know. So she's put me in charge for a year to see if she can get used to the idea of letting it go. Well, I suppose it's a good little proposition for you. Oh, I don't know about that. It needs thousands spending on it. I don't know that I'd care to take it on. Well, I don't suppose I shall bother you again. Well, drop it any time you're passing. Thanks. I might do that. Goodbye. Good day, dear. Oh, excuse me, madam. I've been thinking about what you said. Now, if this man has nothing to hide, why doesn't he tell us where his wife is? I'm going to ask him a few no, questions. No, Constable, no. Forget it. I'm sorry I asked. No, on the contrary, I'm very glad you did. Oh, Detective Sergeant Roberts, sir. Yes, what of it? Oh, have you been investigating the latest case in there, sir? Yes, I have. For any result? Result? No. Well, I'll give you a bit of advice. Advice I should have taken myself. Never listen to an hysterical woman. Where do you think you're going? It's Parson Power, sir. Hello, is that you, Mrs. Sparrow? Well, how are you? Listen, I've had the police in. Yes, very nosy they were. I think you'd better come round and see me. Ah, now, love, don't get into a state about it. Come tonight, say about 11 o'clock. I should come down by the area. Now, don't worry. No one will see you. I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now. Well, something's got to win the 3.30. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful dreamer, waken to see Old Mrs. Sparrow is a coming to me <laughs> Frederick Watson's a right clever man Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> Come in and sit down. Locked out of my own home. That's not right. It's safer for you away from here with the police dodging around. I haven't told them. No, I haven't. And I won't if you're good. I've been thinking it over. I'm a fool to let you blackmail me. 
My husband fell off that roof. I should know I'll stand right beside him. Behind him, you mean? No, 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 he fell, I tell you. I tried to save him, but I couldn't grab a hold of him properly. What was you doing up there, anyway? Oh, over and over and over again. He called me out to look at a job he'd done on the tiles. Lord, how ironic. Working like a navvy up there, and that's all the thanks he gets. No, you're making it all up. Why should I want to do a thing like that to him? Why? Why? Uh, eat of the argument. I only had a few words, that's Sounds all. Sounds like bitter words to me, Mrs. S. I can't remember clearly. No, you wouldn't. You'd had a few as usual, hadn't you? I didn't mean to do it. If I did, which I didn't. You're not too clear about it, are you? I am, though. I saw it all and I was sober. Go on. Tell the police. They won't believe a word you say. If you're a thief, you're all back at me. Don't that's right. Oh, so you won't up to it then? I did it out of spite. I'll tell the police on you. Yes, you can tell them I pinched some of your jewellery too. What? That's how I paid all the back rent I owed you. I'm going to telephone them. Come with me. Come with me. I've got something to show you. Look at the mess your lovely cupboards are in. Do you know who did that? Shall I tell you? The police did that. They thought I had you and Sarah walled up in them cupboards. Tell anyone about the gas meter, Mr. Watts. It is a mess, isn't it? But I'm going to cover them over again and send the police the bills. Well, when they paid for the damage, they're not likely to tear them open again, are they? Whatever's inside. Or whoever, I should say. Keep on the jewelry I don't want. So far, everything's gone according to plan. Now's the time to put the plan into action. Go on, collect the rents and give you the house for nothing. Well, that's very kind of you, Mrs. Says. I'll tell Sarah about your kindness when she comes out of hospital. We'll drink your health. Although it'll be a bit too late for that. Sarah isn't in the hospital. Yeah, she's coming out in a few weeks. No, she's not in the hospital. She never was. She's gone away with Bob Gates to the garage. <coughs> she arrived in the hospital to get away from your lying <coughs> gossip and scandal. No, no, no. Gone away with Bob Gates. Gary, she isn't coming back. She is You're coming never. back. You're no. that sister of ours no. drove her away from me, but she's coming home soon and she'll be quite normal. And when she comes back, I'll be rich and we live. On your rents. Fancy seeing you again so soon. Mm -hmm. Well, you said yesterday I could call in at any time. You're just in time for a nice cuppa. No, thank you. I don't go in there. It's cold here in the kitchen. I'll just put the kettle. Who? Spooner. No. Oh, he said he bought some gold off you. Oh, him. You do know him, then? Well, I wouldn't say I know him. We did a bit of business. So it's true, eh? Eh, hey, yes. What no. do you mean? You sold him a ring, a watch and a brooch. Yes, that's right. Well, we picked him up. You did? Yes, we've had our eye on him for some time. We thought he might have stolen the stuff, or received it. Him? Yes, after all the old tricks, Spooner. Didn't give him much of a price for it, did he? Well, I didn't think it was worth much. Well, perhaps not. Is that, um, is that all you've called about? Well, was there anything else? No. I thought you might have come to pay for the damage to the cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> about that? Uh, do you want me to send the builders in? No, I've done it myself. Oh, you haven't wasted much time. I think I'll take a look at your handiwork. Are you sure you wouldn't like a copper? No, oh, thank you. Oh, you've been busy. Why did you say you didn't want to use these cupboards? Damp. I thought you said it was mice. Mice and damp. 
Water was expensive. Dry though. And mice don't live in them, eh? Yes, that's right. <laughs> you know, Mr. Watson, you're quite a character. Am I? Yes, you really are. You know, you've got quite a thing about cupboards, haven't you? Well, drop in any time. Hmm? Any time you're passing. <laughs> yes, of course. When did you say you'd met Spooner? I met him in a pub. He told me he bought old gold and stuff, and I uh, remembered I had some. Oh, yes. Ladies' jewelry, wasn't it? That's right. It belonged to my wife. Oh, how is she, by the way? Oh, she's fine. She's coming out in a week or two. Is she? Coming out? Yes, out of hospital. Mr. Watson, is uh, Bob Gates a friend of the family? Who? Bob Gates, who used to work at the garage in the corner. No, I've never heard of him. I don't run a car. You see? Oh, well. Good luck, Mr. Watson. Good day to you. So gay. Hi, little Sarah. Oh, hello, Mr. Jones. Come in. Do you mind putting your rent on the table? I've got my hands full. Uh, what's the flowers for? Oh, it's a big day for me today. Do you like a new wallpaper? Same as I've given you upstairs. Are the redecorations up there satisfactory, Mr. Jones? They're all right. Mrs. Sparrow wants me to put your rent up, but I talked her out of it. I said redecorating your rooms was long overdue. Have you got Miss Fawcett's book, too? Mrs. Sparrow, she's been back. Oh, yes. She comes back once a month or so, just to see that everything's being run right. You was out again when she called. Is she happy where she is? Yes, I hope so. Here. I got a letter this morning. You never guess who from. Who? Your wife, Sarah. She writes from Manchester. She wants me to ask you to forgive her and to send a raincoat. Are these flowers lovely, Mr. Jones? Yeah, what's the occasion? My Sarah's coming out of hospital today. She's completely cured, the doctors say. But she's in Manchester. She wants a raincoat. Yes, she's coming out today. I knew three months in hospital would put her right. But she says here she's never coming back and she wants you to forgive her. I've missed her, you know. That's why this is such a big day for me. I won't have to get my own breakfast anymore. Yeah, well, that'll be nice. Uh, there's the rent. You can sign the books whenever you like. All right, Mr. Jones, thanks. Uh, I say, I'll give you a shout when Sarah gets here. Perhaps you'll all join us in a glass, a sort of um, homecoming to do like. Yes, sir. Uh, just give us a call. Beautiful dreamer, I feel so gay. My little Sarah is coming home today. Hey? Number five? That's right. This is the place, mate, down here. Thanks, Billings. How do you do? We're here to start. Start what? Where? You are? Yeah. Where? This place. Th this place? Yeah. You said it was number five, didn't you? That's right. Basement? See for yourself. Now, this is it, then. This is what? Where we start. You've got it wrong. Oh, have I? You read that. What's it? Sanitary. Sanitary? Yeah, orders. Mrs. Sparrow's had two warnings to get it done. Get what done? Get this place. What's wrong with this place? It's insanitary. It's about tumbling down, isn't it? No. Oh, come off it now. I've got a nose for a dry rot. You've got your share here. I don't want you in here. You've got no option, mate. Hey, look here. So get us some of the family. Look, don't come down here. Look here, mister. Look, you can grow mushrooms in this place. I'm not having you starting Look, work in here. We've got our orders. My, my wife is coming out of hospital You're bringing today. bringing her back here, blimey. Of course she's coming in here. A death trap. Tell him to hold her for a few days till we get the place worth living in. But she's coming back here today. Well, I don't advise it, you know. Listen, I've just redecorated up this whole house. Oh, Do you understand? No, I can see that. Didn't your landlady tell you? You'll all have to come down again, you know. Bill, come in here a minute, will you? It mustn't come down. Never mind, mate. You won't recognise this place the time we finish with it. Take a look at that, Bill. It mustn't come down. Now, look, you can't fight the sanitary, mate. Anyway, what are you worried about? You ain't got to pay for it. It might down the way, mate, will you? Ah, just as I thought. It's an old landlord's trick, this is, covering up dry rot. I think we'll make a start here, Bill. Cover up the furniture, will you? We don't want to make a mess for the gentleman. I'll bet this was a cupboard. See what sort of a state this is in first. Sarah. 
Sarah, love. Oh, Bill. Come and have a look in this cupboard. So you are in, Mr. Watson. I must have dozed off. I, um, I was just doing my pools, and the uh, next thing I knew, he was knocking on the door. I'll never get before away ways that way, will hey, I? Hey, look, Mr. Watson. Very nice I've to come see to you, Mrs. Scott. Look, Scarlett. I want to you see you. You don't drop in often enough. It's a real treat to see you. I haven't time for golf. What about a nice cup of tea now? I'll go in the kitchen and put the kettle on. Uh, Mr. Watson. Come on. About the rent. I'm sorry I can't offer you a nice piece of fruit cake, but you know what it is. A man living on his own. I haven't had time to do the shopping. Where's this now you said your wife had gone to? I didn't. Oh. Thought you did. You didn't ask me. No, you know that's not true, Mr. Now, Watson. You said, Where's Mrs. Watson? And I said, She's gone away. And you said, uh, Gone to stay with her sister, I suppose. And before I could answer you, the milkman nearly banged the door in and you was off. Oh, so she's gone to stay with her sister, is I she? I didn't say so. And where is she? Hospital. Hospital? What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing serious, bless your heart, Mrs. Sparrow. Oh, I didn't even know she was sick. No, it's not too bad. She's in good hands. I must go and visit her. Aren't you good? But she can't see visitors. What's the matter with her? She'll tell you herself, no doubt, when she comes back. And when will that be? Who knows? She's been gone a month now. Is it really as long as that? Yes, it is. Four weeks. That's how much rent you owe me, Mr. Watson. Rent? Of course. I clean forgot about it. I didn't. I'm going away on business tomorrow morning, and I want that four weeks' rent before I go. You shall have it then. Pardon me asking, but where are you oh. going to get it? You got the sack from your job, didn't you? Oh, I gave you that idea. You're not working. You've been down here day in, day out for the past month since your wife went away. What on earth have you been doing with yourself? Decorating. Decorating? 
Yeah, I want the place to look nice for my Sarah when she comes back. I don't see any decorating. Well, I've properly decorating? started. Yeah, I've just been washing down a few ceilings. Mm, I don't see any improvements. Oh, well, I haven't really had time to get down. Uh, don't go in there. Why not? Uh, not in the bedroom. It's a bit untidy. I want to see what you're doing to my bedroom. Oh, you'll like it. You're wasting your time, Mr. Watson. I'm selling the house, and you and your wife will have to find accommodation elsewhere. You're selling the house? Mm -hmm. Chipped, how did that happen? The people who are buying it want to live down here. The basement? No respect for other people's property at all. They're going to rent out the rooms upstairs, same as I've been doing. I've told my other boarders I'm going, and they've all paid me up to date. So you'll have to pay up tonight, Mr. Watson. Oh, and uh, by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Williams are calling here tomorrow morning, and they'll want to look round if it won't inconvenience you. You say you've sold this house and not a word to me? I just told you. You say you've sold it? No, I didn't. I said they wanted to buy. You said they was moving in? Yes, so they are. That's they bought the house. No, they haven't. But, but you said... I said they wanted to buy, but I've got to decorate it first. And you kick me and Sarah out into the street? No, 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 Mr. Watson. They want the big Laying you up, they are. Getting you to decorate this house, and, and they haven't paid you nothing? Pay? They're just jumping to pay, but I, I think I can get a few hundred pounds more for it if I spend, say, 90 on decorating. So you haven't, uh, you haven't signed no contract yet? When I want to, not before. You've got a head for business, Mrs. Sparrow. You're right there, Mr. Watson. That's why I want my four weeks' rent. You shall have it tonight. Uh, thank you. Uh, come back later. Uh, what time? Say so about uh, ten o'clock. I'll be back. And I'll be ready for you. <laughs> 